let's not make a habit of this. When I have to get up early in the morning on a Saturday, a time I could be in bed, it doesn't feel like anything could possibly be worth this. But for some reason, past Stevie set me an alarm and I guess I have to trust in her. Now to get to the other side of London. I'm very, very good at getting lost. I've gone in a bit of a loop. London, 1812, and sharp-minded, strong-spirited Lady Helen Russell is about to be presented to Queen Charlotte. So, so I have a complete Regency wardrobe made for me, which I love wearing. You can go onto my website and you can see it. Um, I didn't wear it today because it's a lot to pack. Um, <laughs> right down to the stays, uh, which I can say are very comfortable. They end here. They're just like the bra girls. Um, but um, under that, um, no undies. So we have a quiz for you guys. So, are you going to be a duchess or are you going to be a demon slayer? Let's take one mission. B, run toward it to prevent disaster. We'll see. Basically, part, um, part of my job is to find new books that we can publish. So, and most, the majority of these come into us through uh, literary agents, they kind of um, want to be or would be authors, approach agents and try and try and get signed up by an agent and then an agent will take them on. Thank you very much for coming today. Um, I would love to talk you through um, the research for my book, my Catterson did, but um, that's a very weak area of mine. I get notes back from Emma like, it's just days passing here or weeks, and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Why is it always Tuesday? I don't know. <laughs> Carol, who has got to spend the summer at, at her grandfather's ranch, when the brutal Lord Tyrrell seizes power of the Langa tree and begins to wage a war of terror against the opposite tree, which is the recess, Miko dares to make a stand. Is there anyone here who's ever watched a screen adaptation of a book they really enjoyed and thought to themselves, why the hell did they change all that stuff? Anyone ever thought that? Hands up. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much everyone. Okay, well, I've got a confession to make because I am the enemy. The thing I had to actually research most was. Um, I went to an all girls school for 13 years and I had my first boyfriend at 21, 22, so I, I really had no idea about teenage boys and I got three in the book and I had to sit my boyfriend down and be like, so, <laughs> puberty, talk me through it. <laughs> <laughs> and I really wish I hadn't, that really killed a lot of the, the romance in our relationship. <laughs> what a mega dweeb. <laughs> Teenage boys do the weekends, and he was like, um, they um, they put dressing gowns on, and then they run through the woods with their best friend, and they pretend that they're filming Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> 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 you think that's a universal experience? It might just have been me. The first step was to look at where the market currently is by considering the competition, and we did this using our handy diagram that our art director David created for us. So I heard how covers were made and books commissioned and how authors came up with their ideas and finally wrote them down. I met a guy who helped write a Terry Pratchett screenplay and got his book along with a lot of other books. Some demony steampunky, if you like Cassandra Clare, you'll like this. <laughs> Along with a load of books I really, really want to read as soon as I can possibly get them into my hands. So that was my investigation into Walker Books, in which I learned about publishing, writing, and eating lots of sandwiches. Anyway guys, leave me lots of questions down below if you want to learn more about my day at Walker and all the books I received. Other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.
Is that a tinfoil hat joke? Yeah, the, well, it was the tinfoil hat joke came out of um, aluminum or aluminium. Aluminium sounds so much prettier. Um, I